In this video, we're going to be taking a look at Master Yoda for the Clone Wars animated line. And this is in the red and white packaging that was used between 2009 and into 2010. And I'm pretty sure this was the second sculpt of Yoda that we got. We did get a release, uh, the very first wave in 2008. And that one was much more toyetic. Uh, it had a projectile force launcher or something like that. I never owned that action figure. Uh, it's it's an okay one just from looking at it. But definitely this is the far superior Clone Wars animated Yoda that you can get. In fact, it was probably one of the highlights of the entirety of the Clone Wars line. It's a perfect action figure. Uh, I have nothing but great things to say about it. And it's really neat how they did this. In fact, uh, back in 2009, this was probably the best Yoda you could get at the time. Uh, of course, this was before the TBC Yodas. And at that point, maybe the Yoda and Kaibuk was probably the definitive Yoda that you can get at that time, which is a fantastic action figure as well. But just in terms of like articulation and the overall look, I think this one was the best Yoda, even though he's an animated appearance. So I got this at my local grocery store back in 2009, actually. So he's been with me for a long time now. I uh, just happened to see him on the shelves and it was like, you know, that's such a good looking Yoda. And just went ahead and got them. Uh, but without saying anything further, let's just go ahead and look at them. Very small action figure, obviously. So right away, looking at that head sculpt, it's spot on to what we see on screen. Uh, I don't think Yoda's appearance really changes at all throughout the Clone Wars series, from the movie to season one, all the way to season six. Now, the first release of the animated Yoda, I think he had a plastic robe instead, while this one's all just soft goods. And it's a very good material, very thick material. They did a very nice job with that head sculpt. It's some nice detailing. You can see all the creases in his head there. Eyes are painted nice, very neutral expression. Ears look good. Yoda was voiced by Tom Kane during the Clone Wars series. And of all the voice actors out there, he probably made some of the most contributions to the Star Wars universe. I mean, he's been pretty much in every video game throughout the years and various characters. Of course, he did Admiral Ackbar as well. And you can hear him throughout the Revenge of Sith game, mostly like the Neomodian guards when Lord Vader is going through Mustafar. Just a few examples. And the hair sculpt here for Yoda is phenomenal as well. And they did a nice job capturing that. Some nice texture details. I won't be taking his robe off because I still have the elastic bands around his accessories here. Um, I'll just kind of give you an idea. There's not going to be a whole lot to see anyway other than his brown suit that he wears or his brown robes. He looks really good. See the detailing there. See his feet there. It's basically claws or talons. his hands which look really good now in terms of articulation this is one of the parts that I say makes this Yoda the best at the time so he does have a ball joint the head which has a really good range of motion pretty much get in most of the poses that you want he does have hinged shoulders and hinged elbows and then swivel wrists uh, swivel waist and swivel hips. Uh, nothing in the knees, but characters like this don't really need anything in the knees, and it would be very hard to factor that in for Yoda. Uh, but he does have a, a ball point basically at his feet. It's not a hinge, but it's at a regular ball point, which is really good. So he has a very stable stance. 
And this was definitely one of the best articulated Yodas at the time. And even uh, compared to today, this is still one of the better ones because a lot of the TBC Yodas, especially the one that comes with the Cave of Evil pack, which is a repack of the Revenge of Sith one, uh, it just has swivel elbows. Well, this one has the hinge ones. It's interesting. In terms of weapons and accessories, he is pretty light. So he does have his signature lightsaber, which is pretty much the same one that comes with most Yodas. It is a shorter lightsaber. He has a nice green blade. And then additionally, he does have his cane here, which looks pretty good. It's just a wooden stick. And it does help prop him up. I really don't need a stand with Yoda at all. Because sometimes you can uh, brace that uh, cane. Keep him upright. But again, because of the articulation in his feet there. He's a very stable character. I've never had any problems with keeping him up at all. But yeah, that's pretty much all I can really tell you about this Yoda. We'll bring out a couple comparisons here. I have Obi-Wan. Of course, Anakin. And all three of these characters look fantastic get together. I do have many more Jedi that I will be featuring here soon. And perhaps I'll do a video of just all the Clone Wars animated Jedi together that I have. And I will bring out one more real quick, kind of a sneak preview. It is the Padme Amidala. So would I recommend this Yoda for your collection? I totally would. Even if uh, you're not really big into the animated line so much, I still think this is a really good Yoda to own. And as I said, I think this is one of the best Clone Wars animated action figures that Hasbro produced at the time. It's just a phenomenal articulation. It looks exactly like Yoda. Best on-screen appearance uh, for the animated look, that is. But even if you have a more realistic collection, I still think this Yoda looks really good with it. I wouldn't say he necessarily looks realistic, uh, but he's close enough where you can make it work. Um, I have done many displays in the past where I have him in a realistic collection. He looks completely fine. I think he is a little bit bigger compared to a uh, movie accurate Yoda, but that's all right. He's still uh, pretty much the scale. But I have nothing but great things to say about this action figure. I'm happy he's been in my collection all these years. And I think, uh, yeah, as I said, I would highly recommend tracking one down if you can. As far as price is concerned... He did get uh, a few repacks during the Clone Wars line. I think he was also in the Shadow of the Dark Side packaging. He might have been. And, uh, of course, a couple of battle packs here and there, I'm sure. So, as far as price is concerned, I don't think he's that bad. And even if you get the initial release of him, like this one here, in the red and white packaging, I don't think he's that bad as well. But anyways, that concludes this review. I hope you enjoyed it. Stay tuned for plenty more reviews in the future. There will always be more to come. If you haven't already, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. I always appreciate all your support, and check out some links in the description if you haven't done so already. Of course, as always, thanks for watching.